Welcome to We Are One in Spirit podcast. Today my guest is Saba Sebastian. She is going to be presenting to us some points that I have never considered about why we are not duality oriented. She's going to talk about AI programming in our brain and how that is affecting us from being able to express our original or true selves. And there's a lot of things that she's going to share here that's really eye-opening. And I ask some questions that just pop into my mind and then come to find out that is a feminine principle, that spontaneity of being able to um, just jump in, ask questions, and, and do things. We're bringing back on board that divine feminine principle that uh, has been removed from our society, uh, from our vocabulary, from our religions. Um and from our expression as human beings. And so how can we be whole and complete if we're only expressing half of who we are? And it's not even half because you're going to learn in this, <laughs> you're going to learn in this podcast today that there is no duality, that uh, we're going to learn some new vocabulary words and I will put those on the screen so you can do a little more research. So um, I hit the record button after we were already talking. So we'll jump in now and I'll introduce you to Saba Sebastian. doing it. Um, okay. I've had a podcast since probably 2016, maybe even before that. And it morphed in from a book interview where I was working with authors and having them interview to promote their book. And it became that I was doing more and more spiritual stuff, more and more spiritual books, more self-help books, which is my genre. I love working in that genre. So once I gave that up, I started using it just to interview people like you other authors, um, other huh? spiritual people who are doing their thing and just sharing their work. So There's that, that mm -hmm. went underground for a little while when I went through a life change and I've just brought it back on. Yeah. And Brenda was feeling, she's been huh? hearing conversations of a different kind for many, many years. And so I said, well, why don't we blend like the that. formats? We'll just blend the formats and yeah. you can have it and I can have it. You, I'll get, give you the files. You can do what you want to with them put them on your website, put them on YouTube. I'll do oh, the same. Okay. So it's like double promotion because we're both blending yeah. our industries and what we're, what we're here to do, but in a way that uh, yeah. kind of bridges the woo woo that I'm more into with the science that she's more into, which I think is beautiful because yeah. it reaches a wider audience. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. And, it, and it's interesting that you say that because, um, I had emailed, so Brenda and I spoke, uh, I don't know, last week sometime, and uh, she was giving me some feedback, and I, of course, had heard the feedback before, but I really, since I, I can, I know, I don't even have to say I can sense, I'm fully aware <clears throat> that she has a lot of experience out there doing her thing, putting it out mm -hmm. into a realm where it's, um, it's hard to put science out into a realm where, where if you don't have a credential that props you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, it's very difficult. I know for a fact, because I've been trying to do it for a long while mm -hmm. and it's, it's, uh, it's really tough. And so I, what I did with Tao of Equipoise for a long time was I kind of backed away from tapping anything that I felt I couldn't really um, back up well um, and just went into the realm I knew I could, which is, you know, my realm of like structure. I know the, the body very, very well. It's, that, that was what I did previously, structural work. And I can speak to the myofascia. I can speak to that extremely well. Um, and so I kind of chickened out and I've been getting this very strong um, communication from whomever, my, my higher self, whatever, doesn't matter, saying, if you don't do this, it's going to kill you. If you don't, if you don't start really fully putting this out in its totality, it's going to take your physical body. Mm. However, it however that happens, wow. you know, it's the, the, the energy that I'm holding in would become too much for the mm. vessel. Uh, that makes sense. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if you, you know, if all of us don't share what, what we've come here to put forth into the tapestry, into the mosaic, Mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. it will, it's a slow death, mm -hmm. essentially. 
of um, malaise. <laughs> Mm. And that can, you know, as we know, becomes dis-ease and, you mm. know, and so um, then I went into this like death struggle of like, ah, oh, do I have the courage to go out again <laughs> and deal, you know, <sighs> um, and then s suddenly with, and perhaps it's just what has come in energetically onto the planet now, the support that we have that we can, that is utterly palpable now Amazing. um i don't know yeah something just went i'm doing it and so because i have i i'm this really freakish blend of like as you call woo woo <laughs> <laughs> and science and um the science i'm putting forth which is what happened to brenda i think like 20 years ago isn't here yet mm. um, um or or that uh, that is that is really known i i know the folk who are kind of tapping in but not a lot of people are really aware like radial symmetry mm. you know like how do i tell the the scientists of the world that we're of radial symmetry they're gonna laugh they're literally gonna laugh in my face mm. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. i don't know if you've looked at the animals that are considered radial symmetry mm -mm. they're like starfish mm -hmm. octopi squid <laughs> That's what science considers okay. physical radio. Yeah. So, yeah, it was like, oh, man, oh, I really, okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't have, I do have a way to back it up, but it's, um, yeah, it's going to be, you know, mm. scratchy. Yeah. But uh, I, I, something has shifted, and I'm like, too bad if, if that. Yeah. Yeah, just put it out there and let, yeah, right. let the universe decide where it needs to go and who needs to see it and who will receive it and who won't and what the comments and, are. Just kind of give that up. Yeah. That's, a, that's surrender. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. Like, I, I choose myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in this. Mm -hmm. I choose my gift. I choose yeah. my purpose. I went through that. I remember um, mm -hmm. liberation birthing with some with Sandra Ray and Mark Ray. I went to their home when they lived here in Nashville. We were working together on one of her books that she was putting out. Uh -huh. and they did one for me specifically. What came up in that was I was afraid to use my gifts. I was afraid to be. Oh, yeah. I was afraid to be heard. I was afraid to really step out. What would people think of me? And that session yes. was like my light bulb went off. It's like, I'm going for it. And, you know, <laughs> and I stepped out a little shaky yeah. ground at first, but now it's like, oh, this is me. This is me. This yes. is who I am. I'm embodying this. So I can't help but share it. Yes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what it, wow, I don't know if you can hear that. We have major thunderstorms today. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, right, that's the thing. And and that is what Tao of Equipoise expresses is totality, globality, origination. Um, that is one of the, I would say, foundational um, principles of this expression mm -hmm. is, um, tapping in and being our original self yeah whether that's structural um in into the realm of um you know i wouldn't say personality per se N not the identity personality but the original person the authentic who has, self yes yes <laughs> the one who was really are without to, all the junk <laughs> without all without the, the clip on <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, without the identity uh, yeah <laughs> The snap on layers, yes. Um, I call them the apps, like computer apps. <laughs> like, apps we exactly yeah. attached to. <laughs> the, once we're debugged, um, who we are. Yeah. And um, so, you know, it's essential, I think, now, especially. Otherwise, I do think the energy is going to start um, being hard on our physical form. Mm -hmm. To contain that energy um, is going to be hard on the physical form because this is a another principle is reciprocity mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and so right yes. you're receiving receiving and never giving it out well yeah what's going to happen <laughs> the, right the physical form needs to be grounded it's, it's an electromagnetic um vessel mm -hmm. uh so yeah yeah <laughs> that is true. Uh huh. speaking of structure i watched one of your videos and it was you were showing us how to stand up with our toes raised 
yeah flat footed but your toes are raised and with the uh you had a block a yoga block between your knees and between your ankles i didn't have a yoga mm -hmm. block so i grabbed the cushions off the couch <laughs> <laughs> that worked and, and did a makeshift but yeah. i could feel that all of a sudden i started my body just went straight up like that and then my back started having like um tension and the upper back is like uh -huh. ah I'm re reposit I'm giving myself a chiropractic adjustment. Here's what it feels like. And so I was, yes. I have noticed since then, I, you said practice it several times a day, count 10 seconds. So I mm -hmm. did that. When I was walking the other day, not my legs were hurting. Mm -mm. My legs, my feet, hips, everything was good. My upper back was still pulling me back into better posture, mm -hmm. even while I'm walking and not even thinking about it. Yeah, right. It's isn't the the our physical form is live streaming source. Mm, so I love that. Yeah, yeah. And so really, the only thing that's pulling it away from that is the mind, the 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 inorganic mind, the if then if then if then the, the mind is. that mm -hmm. is yeah, yeah yeah the mind that is bugged the mind uh -huh. that has the AI programming. Right. Um, so that pulls on the body. It's not the body that's doing that. <laughs> the body isn't in it ever degenerative. It's, it's the mind that sucks the energy mm. from, from the body source. Mm -hmm. So that yeah, the body sense. will, mm -hmm. I the remember, body responds immediately. I remember in the book, um, after an interview I had with Brenda, we were talking about the body and trusting the body. We don't trust our body. And I'm like, but the body does no. this and the body has that. And I, there's this disease and I feel this. And now that I've met you, it's like, okay, I'm starting to put two and two together here and going, I can trust yeah. the body. It's the mind control of the frequency field that we are immersed in as human vessels on this planet. Yes. That's causing everything to be out of whack. <clears throat> we're realizing yes. not just our bodies but with source divinity in the body now you can trust yes, the body. That's right. well the body is divinity the body Therefore. is divinity yeah so um and i i use the word i'm i'm bridging us from a to, from alignment because that's a duality word, and I'm, okay. I know that sounds really strange to no, say no, that. I, I talk, it's I still call it duality speak. <laughs> okay, I call it duality speak because what has happened as a result of the the duality paradigm, which is the the field of opposites, the polarized scenario. If this, then that. Oh. So the duality paradigm calls everything in between. It allows no span, no connectivity whatsoever. It, it has forced us to choose, always choosing between something. Mm. Um, I'd like to go to the store, but I really want to see a movie. Rather, I'd like to go to the store and I really want to see a movie. Inclusive speaking versus exclusive speaking. Wow. Mm. So, yeah. So the duality so <laughs> Yes, <laughs> indeed, particularly at the holiday season, I'm teasing. Um, so I, I, I can seem very pedantic when I'm speaking with people and it's, it's not um, that I'm being critical. I am extremely particular and I was watching a Dale Pond video and he talks about this as well. The accuracy is extremely important, especially in the words we speak, because those, as we know, have a frequency. Mm -hmm. Words have a frequency and they resound into our body field <clears throat> through our body mm -hmm. and through our space. And so the more that we reshape and reorient our literacy, the, um, the more integrity we're going to flow through our form. Mm. So it will orient, I say it as if it's a, an object, the, this form orients um, quite well when we start bridging our literacy. So that's mm. part of it. So mm. I'm shifting us mm. from the word alignment because that implies again this rigid align which doesn't really exist mm -hmm. in nature it's an inorganic mm -hmm. expression it's an inorganic mathematical expression 
Cartesian type of thing that those lines those plot graphs so we're we are um, a vessel of resonance and uh, simultaneously of expression <clears throat> so we're attuned we attune we're always tuning we're tuning we are tuning into frequency we are expressing frequency so it's really an attunement most everything is dynamic Nothing is ever, ever static. Mm. It's ever flowing potential from, from our source. Wow. Live streaming. That's a whole new way of looking <laughs> yeah. at things. Because when I was seeing alignment, it's like I was seeing two opposites coming together and, and then stacking up properly, like they got out of whack or they're crooked and they're, yeah. but you're saying it's more circular and yeah, it's gyro. It's a gy we're gyroscopes. Okay. Right. So, you know, airplanes and boats use gyroscopes to navigate. And of course, we can imagine why it's not hard, right? <laughs> they're well, yeah, in these because there's no solid ground <laughs> under it. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. And and really technically, there's no solid ground under us either. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> yeah, right, right. I mean, of course, we are walking on these very flattened surfaces now as a contemporary um, society. We here in, in the U.S. and other cultures that have become extremely domesticated have flattened out their surfaces, which mm -hmm. is an inorganic expression mm -hmm. of the natural realm. Uh -huh. Nothing's flat here in our natural realm. No surface really is flat naturally. And so our body is designed to always be sensing um, an environment that is um, terrained. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so our ankles are these amazingly um, high precision gyroscopes. Yes. Our pelvis. Yeah, you can sense it, right? Uh, absolutely. Uh, our neck. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. And so because it's ever dynamic, even as we're sitting here, we're, you know, there's there's never homeostasis. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. Completely right. We're we're in a fully fluid three-dimensional dynamic state of even the word state implies something rigid. Mm -hmm. It's just constant flow. Mm -hmm. We're just live streaming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Food yeah for thought uh -huh. yes absolutely i remember working yeah. with um, a doctor a podiatrist here in nashville when i was uh, working with authors and helping them write their books and edit their books and stuff and he talked about that that walking is just actually a oh, yeah. series of falling and correcting falling and correcting the balance uh, was the gate is you're balancing as you let go of one foot and then you're balancing in the other in that mid state you're falling <laughs> and see i i find that as a duality really paradigm. right so if you think about fall correct ah either this or you're that wow this is you're really either. ingrained in me oh I'll, i mean this is we have literally been programmed into this we we are bugged by an ai system of duality Mm. Yes. So the debugging <laughs> it is is reorienting our literacy. But of course, how do you reorient literacy when you don't until even you're, know? Yeah. You don't even you have no there is nothing in this outer realm that isn't programmed like this. So, you know, we go to these professional people that have years and years of education and experience who are often very heartfelt in their application of their craft. Mm -hmm. So not speaking mm -hmm. about these people personally, of course, it's the models. All of the models are based on this pie Cartesian plot graph. So they've taken our human body and they've put it into a flat, rigid, reduced medium. And then they've fed it back to the people that then feed it back to us as this. Mm -hmm. And so then we are, we are in a duality matrix. We're falling or we're correcting, or like you said, balance, which is simply two parts coming together and really never fusing and intertwining mm -hmm. and being interwoven. Mm -hmm. And that's what has been called by the duality matrix is the synergistic component, that third triunal essence, which is an ever interwoven synergistic fluid 
one holistic unit of form expressing mm. as this mm. person I call Seba and this person you call Yvonne. And so when we're walking, we're really always centralized. And when I say centralized, I, I always point to the trunk, of course, the big major center, though we're fractal as is everything here, everything's a fractal, everything, all form is a fractal expression. And so our eyelash has a centrality. Our eyeball has a centrality. It's, it's a three, it's a triunal, three dynamic, synergistic, dimensional expression. Never one expressing over the other, ever. Mm. Always an interwoven, so there's no, no such thing as balance. I'll bridge balance into equanimous expression, equanimity. There's always equanimity in our original blueprint state. Mm. Of course, as we know, <laughs> equanimity isn't always present in our form, and that's completely okay. That's part of this experience as well. Can you define equanimity? I'm a little, I'm, I'm drawing a question mark. I could go Google it, but I think other people might have the same question. Yeah, of course. Um, so equanimity is a fully expressed totality. So let's, we'll, we can look at our form as global because we're spheroids really. Mm -hmm. um, so of course this Cartesian model has taught us that we're these planes. We have a sagittal and a coronal and a transverse. Um, the reality is if you look at your own body right now, you will, you will see only globality, only aroundness. You, you will not find a flat surface whatsoever. All right, even the bones, though they're straight, they're still round. <laughs> of course, yeah, this is yeah. a three-dimensional reality. Mm -hmm. There's nothing here that is flat. Carl Sagan um, has a little clip, which is pulled from his series Cosmos called Flatland. Mm -hmm. And you can Google that. It's on YouTube okay. and it's a beautiful explanation of how we're taught to think two-dimensionally of our three-dimensional global reality. And he calls it Flatland. It's the sweetest, most beautiful explanation of, um, he wouldn't say the word duality, but it's how we have been taught to think in duality mm. and what our three-dimensional expression is really like. And he uses an apple to illustrate the three-dimensional being. Wow. So we can, if we think of ourselves in a global state, you can picture the earth, um, you can picture anything spherical, an apple, however you want to look at it. And you can imagine that from the central place, the center of our origin, we originate centrally. That is the nature, physical nature of three dimensions. You cannot argue that. <laughs> um, from there, think of like, um, you know, those crazy, I always think of Thanksgiving turkeys, uh, since this is the time of year that my mom used to put on the table that spanned out. It would be yeah. this flat thing. It was made of paper and then you go, yes. yeah. and then be, whoop, there would be the turkey. <laughs> so if you think of <laughs> equanimity, so we've been taught that we're this flattened little turkey guy, and re in reality, we are this fully global 360 degree. And when I say that, I don't just mean this way. Mm -hmm. I mean omni, omni, mm -hmm. omnidirectional mm -hmm. 360 degree being. Mm -hmm. And equanimous being is that we are completely Full, we have volume, we are volumized. So if you imagine pouring water inside that globe, that water inherently fills the globe. It doesn't stay on one side. Right, right. It doesn't, it inherently will be part of the full expression of the globe. Mm -hmm. And okay. so the blueprint state, the avatar state of this physical form, and I don't mean something unattainable, it's not unobtainium, it is the reality, and, and I, we can see it. Um, top athletes are expressing in their avatar state. Um, many people are fully expressed in their three-dimensional totality. It's really three, four, if you, if you think of um, expressing beyond um, the material form. Mm -hmm. um, but to keep it very simple, in this three-dimensional reality, they're fully expressed, which is why their bodies can move with such accuracy and precision. Mm -hmm. And so that's equanimity, fully synergized, 
omni-expressed physical being. Um, there's a word that I can use that um, brings in Buckminster Fuller, which is tensegrity. Oh, tensegrity. And so I don't know if you've ever seen a tensegrity dome. A lot of people know. Yeah, so he created um, a, a dome that is called the tensegrity dome. In other words, it's not propped up by any one kind of structure. The entire structure supports, it has a reciprocity. It pushes and pulls on itself to keep its full totality at all times. And we are also a tensegrity mm -hmm. structure. I can see that, stretching the muscle, contracting the muscle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, it really doesn't stretch or contract. It's in an equanimous, fluid reciprocity. Mm -hmm. So it's really always stretching and contracting in a spanned, fluid, um, essential environment as it is needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can bridge that okay. of stretching it. And I'm, because we don't ever really move like that. No, we don't. I mean, that would be very robotic, wouldn't it? <laughs> Exactly. That's, that's the robotic it's AI. So, that's why that they're using the that formula to program us because they want to go to a very robotic state. And so, we, yeah, let's make you the humans it. into robots. Mm. You got it. And as a result, you can see we've lost, how much range of motion have we lost in our necks alone? So that really calls our proprioception to the point where it's a metaphor and a literal physical reality that we cannot see. <laughs> Our scope of awareness, literally and as metaphor, starts becoming more and more narrow, narrow, narrow. We're selfieing, we're taking photos. That's what, that's, you know, the program. Mm. Until we're just, mm. what? What? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that wear a mask. Okay. <laughs> Stay home. Uh, right. Don't go out with uh, family. Mm. Yeah. Six yeah. people oh at your God. Thanksgiving oh table. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Must have vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> Can't travel to a foreign country because the people there are so scary. Mm. They're not like you. Mm -hmm. They don't speak your language. They have other um, belief systems. Oh my! Terrified. So separateness. All of it. <laughs> separateness. Separation separation which is an illusion culture. i've been saying separateness is an illusion but i didn't know why now i know <laughs> right because there is never not an interwoven aspect of any part of this reality ever 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 it doesn't exist all connect it simply is not part of the physics of this reality mm. whatsoever wow yeah yeah so as yeah. we begin to do this, uh, changing our language, <laughs> which may be hard if I don't know what the wrong words are, or, you know, <laughs> okay. So, right, yeah. Okay, change the language, connect with, um, I guess then with the, with the body more, right? The body? How do we do this? That's, yes. that's, that's what I'm asking. How do we do this? Yes, yes. That is um, also very interwoven. Um, so even the idea that the language can be reoriented will inherently reorient, even the idea of it, because what that will do is that will bring an awareness that there's something else. What else is there? So an inherent um, reflexive principle that has been culled from us, of course, because of the programming, if this, then that, and there's nothing in between, is a reflexive um, inquiry, curiosity, a state of, oh, something's missing, what could it be? Sensing that something's there that we may not be uh, cognitively aware of. This is the the sensual sentient intelligence of our physical nature mm. this was designed to be inherently connected to our organic mind <laughs> mm -hmm. minus the programming and when we're in that state of um, very organic connected sensitivity then we would immediately say oh what, then what could it be? What would it be? It's this creativity, this state of creativity that has been culled from us because mm -hmm. we should know. And if we don't know, mm -hmm. then it doesn't exist. Wow. 
Yeah, and so he needs to tell us, or we don't go looking. Are you saying then that creativity that, is very important in, in bringing this back on board and opening our awareness to it? Well, it's one and the same. It will, do, it's, a, it's a reciprocity. Opening the awareness brings the creativity. The creativity brings the awareness. Oh, okay, okay. It's all reciprocity. It's all connected. So there's never one thing that is a separate essence. So there's nothing you can really do? Is that what you're saying? If it's not you about can, doing? of course. It really isn't about doing, but, but certainly there are, um, you know, there are physical expressions mm -hmm. that can also attune the form, which then inherently attunes the organic mind, inherently reorients to the connectivity that has never gone. The mind, the programmed mind just thinks that it is gone. And so, yes, back to the physical expression of Tao of Equipoise, mm -hmm. like you were saying, lifting the toes, a mm -hmm. simple thing like lifting the toes mm -hmm. reorients the form back through center, back through the radial centrality. And that alone will open up the range of motion in your neck. <laughs> and that alone brings more, so you see it's all really interwoven and, and we're so, we're, we are literal, we are creation. Mm -hmm. We are a continual live streaming originality. And so that alone opens so much that brings and uh, uh, whatever it'll bring for us, you know, whatever our gifts um, are, will will start to ignite. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, Tao of Equipoise is a very physical expression. I mean, I can take it to very elite levels if so desired. Um, and really what, what that expresses, what Tao of Equipoise expresses is just, it's a constant fine tuning, fine tuning, fine tuning back through that radial center. So mm -hmm. it reorganizes the entire structure, reorients the entire structure back into its original design. Um, and that can happen, um, when you hear beautiful music that can happen when you are with people that you love. You know, your body will reorient itself. It, this, it is never not attuned. Never. Hmm. It's the mind that drags the form out of the, the full frequency. Hmm. Yeah. Now that brings up something for me. Sound, vibration, light language. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know... I know, I've written a book on light language. I've done light language for more than 20 years. I still don't know how it works. I know that it does work. And that's why I call it woo woo because I can't explain it. I don't have <laughs> a scientific basis for it, but I know that it does that re centering, recalibrating or whatever it is. Some words I'm using. Let me think. What was your word? The, a reorientation. A reorientation. Because people shift, mm -hmm. something changes, and they're, oh, better, yeah. they're better off for it. But I can't explain it. Yeah, it passes the right. mind. Um, it, it's not in the mind. It does. It, no, not in the programmed mind. Right. No. Right. The, the organic right. mind, of course. Yes, the organic mind is omnidimensional. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, this mm -hmm. this discussion about mind is also difficult. Um, yeah. <sighs> You know, we have this this brain inside our physical form, which you know is uh, it's a computer, it's a generator, it's 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 an it's a it has a lot of uh, capacity, mm -hmm. tremendous mm -hmm. capacity. As we know, it's not being really used, the full capacity. Um, so it's a capacitator, it's a, a receptor, it is all of these things. Um, and then we have these um, apps, <laughs> these AI apps mm -hmm. that have, that are um, like driving wedges into that connectivity. Mm -hmm. And so the connectivity, this is a, uh, you know, I'm, please, this is not science. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a, some sort of visual I can give as I, as I see it. Imagine the circuitry hitting this app and then being routed into this app instead of um, being able to move organically through the tissue. 
And so we have this big wedge. We think we have um, a bihemispheric brain, but that's of course not the case at all. We think we have a um, two types, uh, two parts of a system of a nervous system, uh, parasympathetic and sympathetic. That's not the case at all. I mean, we know there's a polyvagal system now. Um, where we're science is finally beginning to be able to push through the Cartesian duality split mm. and look at the body mm. as a triunal um, uh, form, structural form. And so now we're, we're finally being allowed to um, understand our form as a um, synthesis. Mm. So it doesn't have um, dualistic aspects to it. And so the organic mind would be the mind that is um, free of programming, that is free to receive and act as a capacitor and, and, and act, the brain acts fully in its um, um, original capacity. And it's spectacular. I mean, that's omniscience, um, omnipotence. Mm. Mm. in the physical form mm. we've been taught that that's a, a godlike state <laughs> that's a fallacy but we're made that in the is, image of god we're god. emanations from god so why would we not have that capacity how would that be a separate thing of course it's not right. of course and you know i've i know people have had this experience and i've personally i have it i this is just something i came wired to do but I can tap in. Um, I forget that there's a there's a guy who could basically take any test for any sort of technical thing. Like he could go in and take sit for the bar. He could go in and take any kind of exam and basically just download the material. He just was open to that type of receptivity. But that's omniscience. We all have that capacity in this physical brain that we have right now. None of us are limited. None of us. None of us. No one is limited. Nobody has this, in, this intelligence matrix, whatever that's based on, is this horrific fallacy. Horrific. Mm. <laughs> it's, mm. it's all a design to set limitations yeah. upon us that we, of course, believe because we <laughs> don't have... Um, there really isn't a, a paradigm that, well now there is it's it's strongly emerging to say otherwise mm. so yeah yeah and so back to the the light language really that's just a streaming in um of languages that exist elsewhere in our our galaxy our star system um these are ancestral to many of us um, I consider the light languages I express to be ancestral languages. I call them ancestral. Um, they're languages that are within my um, essence that are natural to me. They're original languages. Mm. Um, just because they don't have a, um, a delineated um, expression in, into meaning as we would consider meaning. They're telepathic. It doesn't mean they yeah uh, absolutely and they're tonal mm -hmm. um we know that there are many cultures that still use tonal languages um we in fact our english language has called has flattened the tones of our spoken language oh. horrifically oh. if we listen to people who speak um spanish or french they have way more um, variation and depth mm -hmm. and span in the tones of their words right so English has been very flattened, diabolically flattened. It's mm. a, a language designed for commerce, <clears throat> commerce wow. and control. Wow. Yeah. How much of this has to do with the DNA? Um, like the languages, if they're already ours and we already have them, they're ancestral, are they in our DNA? What you know, it, DNA... What role does it play? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I feel like DNA is just another one of those structures within our physical three-dimensional form um, that plays a part of the whole. So um, again, you know, I'm a real stickler for not pulling any one aspect of our form out as being any more... Okay. Okay. Um, 
a part of the expression as any other. It's and all I feel coded like there. Yeah. It's all yeah. coded, every last bit. Our bones have coding, our blood yeah. has coding. Mm -hmm. The cells. Our the entire cells. form. Yeah. Yes, all of it. So there's really not one aspect that will just like boop boop and then change the rest of the form. It's it's a simultaneous, you know, you hear um, uh, authors and spiritual teachers like Eckhart Tolle speak of the now, you know, and so once we are able to bridge ourselves, get rid of this AI bugging <laughs> that has us locked into a linear time matrix, we will begin to really express and feel and know and deeply understand simultaneity, which is now. It's all happening now. Mm. It's all happening at one time. There's no linear th anything happening in the body. Everything that's happening in our body is happening simultaneously. Mm. If the DNA mm. enriches its... Um, um, coding than everything else has as well. It, there's, there's nothing that's happening apart from anything else. Okay. We're live streaming. Yeah. We're live streaming. So no 12 strands of DNA, junk DNA. I mean, um, who knows? I, you know, who knows? Who even knows? I mean, I don't, I don't really participate in any sort of, um, Oh, I don't know how to describe it. You know what we think we know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because <Yeah>. again, <laughs> who knows? And 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 we're iterating all of the time. We're live streaming, so mm -hmm. maybe this form mm -hmm. is going to change into something we could not predict. Which is what synergy is. Synergy is potential, and so I feel like if we just we don't even need to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't even need to worry. So you know, it's all happening um, organically. Um, really, is there anything that we need to do in order to bring this on? Is it just a matter of experiencing it as it comes on board? Or, I mean, it could be that I, I, you know, I feel like it's just whatever we're drawn to. What, what it's. Wow. I feel like the most important thing is to be present to the direction that the sentience contained within our physical nature beacons us toward or calls so spontaneity in. then which is something we're programmed really not to do <laughs> think before you speak one, you know, do your oh, research <laughs> it's literally vilified look before and you why leave is it vilified <laughs> yes why is spontaneity vilified and, and in fact that's one of the foundational principles of the tau of equipoise that has been called and these are the feminine principles by the way Mm -hmm. Spontaneity, mm -hmm. receptivity, reciprocity, connectivity, um, simultaneity, those are feminine. That's what's been called out. And so, yes, the, the feminine aspect of our intelligence has been vilified. Oh, um, you're too emotional. You're too spontaneous. Um, you don't think things out. You're not logical. These are the things that women are told all of the time. Because we use our and intuition. That, yeah, that's right. We we listen to what's calling us. That is the spark of creativity. That is creation. That is that is live streaming. That is allowing the live streaming um, manifestation of our expression. And so spontaneity is an essential component of that. It's an essential principle that has been called out. And so who knows, um, X, Y, Z might work for you. This might work for me. Um, you know, African dance, uh, ballet, uh, baton twirling, um, uh, goat yoga, who, yeah, <laughs> whatever. People are expressing yeah. as people, yeah, as, as we express our true nature more and more, we'll begin to express things that help people ground their thing. Mm. And so this is really what I believe is the new economy, actually, is synchronicity, which is another of the cold principles, wow. so that we don't have to go and um, do something that this guru says you should do, because this will then do this to your body, and that'll ignite your DNA, and then... <laughs> You know, um, yeah. this uh, yeah. centropy, this synchronicity will allow um, our expression to be met 
with someone who needs to connect with that expression to ignite their expression. It's like, it's a neural network. Mm. So it's really a calling, which we would call our purpose. And so as we express that, it will call in those who need that to ground through their particular expression mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they'll express out what that brings. So yeah, so that's our new economy so that we don't have to use this weird money and this, you know, you should be doing this and you need to do your yoga and yeah. Rules no. and regulations. <laughs> yeah. That, and I think that's one thing that religion has been done to, and I'm not talking about, you know, there's some beautiful principles in, in religious um, beliefs yes. uh, that I employ every day, but there's, I was in a fundamentalist church and we couldn't wear pants. And if you sang in the choir, you had to wear mm -hmm. pantyhose and you couldn't listen to rock music yes. and you couldn't dance. And it was like all these limitations and suppression put on that. And if you stepped yes. outside the line, there was going to be a consequence. I got kicked out of a church for playing um, secular music at a home show. So, I mean, it's yeah. that kind of rigidity that Ugh, just really chills. turned me away yes. from uh, that kind of programming yeah. to religion. Now, I, recently I had gone back into the church with a totally different understanding of the concept of universality and the commonness of mm. all, that even if I don't agree with them, or even if they use a word that kind of, mm, you know, kind of pushes mm. in against something, and I, I could sit there in peace and be okay with that yeah i love the fellowship yeah. and i love the music and yes the feeling of uh, being in small groups and i absolutely mm -hmm. was getting kind of lonely with all this quarantine lockdown yeah. and, and i was really looking oh, for a place yeah. to be able to get out and meet people and i don't go to bars and i can't stand you know <laughs> yeah. some of that kind of stuff that's not the kind of friends I would want to meet anyway so um yeah, yeah. Like, where do I go and it, this little church down the road just kept calling to me and calling to me it's like but I don't go yeah. to church I don't want to go to church no next door <laughs> the girl next door to me inviting me and I'm like okay fine I get it I get it okay I've been feeling this for a year yeah now she's inviting me yes. I'm going. you know yes. right <laughs> but that right. helped deep program. yeah and so it helped me deeply. Yes. And so that calling, it, it, right? It, it's like it kind of was um, the, the, the layer that's much more deeply into communion and, yes. and yes. the yes. essence of what these religions um, are expressing. Mm -hmm. But of course, they've been, uh, well, I, I don't want to speak to any, any religion, but the, the essence um, is what I think we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, the essential nature which is um free it's yeah. free to express mm -hmm. it's not hindered it's not um usurped or repressed or suppressed because that's literal energy and that harms the form it, it sends a, uh, a dissonance into the field mm -hmm. um and it's destructive and so of course the body feels that we would call it intuition, but it's an actual proprioceptive sense, part of our sensory system that is part of the design to help us navigate this fluid energetic medium so that we can fully and most beautifully and creatively express our truth our true selves, our original selves. Mm -hmm. And so let's say um, that year earlier that calling had come. And then of course there's all this like, uh, mm -hmm. and I've experienced the same yeah. so often. Talk so yourself out often. of it if you don't act on it right away. How many of us, how often, how many times, if we had a dollar, right? If we had yes. a dollar. <laughs> um, so this, you know, if I could say anything, it's returning to that, spontaneous orientation to whatever it is it calls without thinking about what it is going to offer mm -hmm. staying receptive to whatever and it could be the tiniest little seed it doesn't even matter it's going to germinate something within that is then going to be able to express itself in a in a free way yes yes, yes. i love that this has yeah. been so eye-opening and enlightening <laughs> And I, I guess I'm doing a lot of those things, but I'm just going to pay more attention and be more aware of 
the impulses, the, the feminine principles that we've outlined, the, the yeah, and just really moving mm -hmm. in and, that. Yeah, yes. allowing, just allowing, yeah, validating, you know, making it. things happen, you know, the grind. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. And if you're not doing it right, and if you oh. don't do it, I mean, this whole drive toward perfectionism yeah. is so, um, it's pathological. And it's creating pathology, as we can see. Uh, there is no such thing as failing or succeed. Again, we're in the duality yeah. matrix. Yeah. It's, it's an expression of creativity and that can look like, um, biting the dust and, <laughs> you know, I mean, I've, I've been burned down to ash. That's creativity. That was a creative act, you know, death and rebirth. And, you know, those are all acts of creativity. Mm -hmm. there, <laughs> there's nothing beyond that. So what we're there going through globally anything. right now is the burning down. I, I, when we started, it's, I said it's, it's the dark night of the soul for the whole world. <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah. the burning down, the dismantling, so that something mm -hmm. new can come, come online, can, mm -hmm. can be experienced. Yeah. The birth canal. I mean, it's kind of these extreme compressive mm -hmm. um, aspects mm -hmm. so that we... Can move oh, through freely mm -hmm. and grow mm -hmm. the rebirth yes but it's a conscious rebirth which is something that has also been called from us mm -hmm. so that we can be present to the full potential of the reality of that mm. yeah mm -hmm. wow Thank yeah. you so much for sharing all this. You, you are yes, a, of course. a well of, of <laughs> resource and new thought. Oh, and we I all love are. it. Yeah, we all are. but thank you for being willing all to share are. that with me. Yeah, and of course. You know, I'll, I'll course. post this on YouTube so that other people can get a feel for this. Sure. And, you know, yeah. awaken within them whatever's ready to be expressed. Yes, yes, right, mm -hmm. right. And encourage people to ask questions. I mean, I've... I ask questions. I, I don't think that there's a dumb question, even if you've already asked it before, because no. how are you going to learn? Uh, you know, some of the questions that I've uh, posed here today, it's like, well, that's just what popped in my mind. So I'm going to ask. Absolutely. You know, the thing is, it's not an, it's not about intelligence or um, smart question or a dumb question. It's the programming. So what, like, I remember, um, <laughs> It, right. It's like, why do we have low self-esteem? Because we believe the programming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we believe the programming. And so um, the, the spontaneous urge to ask is your, your organic body-mind calling to move beyond the veil. Mm. It's whatever veil that is for you. We all have different, beautiful, multicolored veils upon us. Um, nobody, there's no... Um, good or bad veil we're all veiled um people lift veils for me all of the time all of the time and so it's just you know whatever you're called whatever's been bothering you i had a just as a really quick example um i did a a, a satsang i call it a satsang in in rebellion um because i don't consider myself a guru at all which is why i call it a satsang because we're really all the guru, right? We're, mm -hmm. we're um, all learning from each other if we're not receptive and if we don't give and take, you know, the whole story. But she had this really legitimate question I think a lot of women have, in particular in our culture right now, which is how to express her sensuality without calling in this carnal nature that she didn't want anything to do with. Right. Um, and I think, you That's know, a we're really, a lot of women are trapped, isn't it? It's so wonderful. And I remember being stuck with that myself, though, you know, how do you, where do you ask questions like that? How do you push past those aspects that are, that are craving um, um, that creative expression to be opened up? Um, and so, and that's kind of a hard question to ask too, yeah. to ask someone, you know? Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's yeah. stuff like that. It's like, whatever, if something is really like, oh, you can feel there's, there's more, but how do you get past, or I guess, um, Brenda Williams would call it the gap, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. if you sense mm -hmm. that you're at the edge of something, know there's a bridge. Mm 
You mm -hmm. can just know there's a bridge because mm -hmm. everything's connected. Take everything's first connected. Step. So we, yeah. yes, that, one of the there movies, is, um, no, <laughs> I don't remember which one of the Indiana Jones movies, but when he, there was no bridge, there was a gap and he said, just step out and the bridge, you know, the bridge formed under his feet as he stepped out, but the bridge wasn't there until he took the step. So I think that's, that's right. the way we sit there and knowing that we have a question that can actually open doors for us and a new understanding, yes. but we feel like it's too dumb to ask. And so we don't. It's a, it's, it is a tragedy. It's a literal tragedy because in, in the now, everything is here for us. Mm -hmm. We're omniscient, omnipotent. It's mm -hmm. all here. Mm -hmm. But yeah. without the asking, there can't be the receptivity. Wow. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, I encourage people who are listening to us to ask questions wherever we post yes, it. Ask questions. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. We'll help yes. you find the answers within yourself. We may not have uh, right, your right. Answer, I, there's, you have there's your nothing. <laughs> absolutely, we're not providing anything for anyone <laughs> other than the grounding essence that will bring the receptivity back through their own um, creative original self. Beautiful. That's really, oh. they're answering themselves in yes, essence. Yes. <laughs> they're moving to the place of answers Roll. within themselves. Yes. We're just reflecting. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. that. Thank you yeah. so much. Yes, really absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you. For taking your time to speak with us today. Oh, thank you for, for, um, yeah, being receptive and asking the questions and helping me <laughs> pull forth from my self creativity. It's all, yeah. yes, complete reciprocity. <laughs> well, would you share your website? with us your url so people can find you online uh, yes it's t-a-u so it's tau but it's not the dow mm -hmm. although there is an interplay okay t-a-u <laughs> of equipoise so it's e-q-u-i equi poise p-o-i-s-e so it's tau of equipoise.com very good, very good. And I'll put that down here uh -huh. and link it in the oh, thank you. below thank so you. people can find you. And then, okay. um, I enjoy watching okay. your videos, so I'm going to get back out there and do that. I had that for my, my goal this week. No condemnation that I didn't meet my goal, but <laughs> I, I get to try again yeah. this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And if you have um, any questions about that, the, the physical nature of the expression, um, please feel free to okay. um, let me know. I'm all right. always happy. That brings so much joy to me to be able to express that out. So, Yay. yeah. Thank I would you love so to. much. Oh, such a blessing. Yes, likewise, likewise. Big energetic hug, sisterhood, oneness. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. Please. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so refreshing. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>